Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own low poly asset pack in Blender. So first off, we're going to make a rock. So hold shift and press A, hover over mesh, then go down to microsphere. At the bottom, click on this little tab and then change subdivisions to one. Now I'm going to press S, then press Y and scale it just so it's a bit wider. Then press S and then X to move it this way, just something like this. Then press on tab to go into edit mode. And make sure you're on this um, vertice point mode at the top. Then if you click the bottom one and then press delete vertices. There we go. Go to the line select mode and then just look under here. Then hold the alt key and click one of the bottom lines to select all of them. And then press F to fill it in like that. So now it has a flat bottom. Then go back to a vertice mode. Just click on these um, points and then move them to get the shape of your rock. Okay, so once you've got your shape, Press tab to leave edit mode and then this should be rock done. Then go to file at the top, export and then you can either pick wavefront obj or fbx. For this one it doesn't really matter which one you pick so I'll just do dot obj. Then you can go ahead and save it in the file and then you can name it down here and make sure it has the dot obj. Then go ahead and click export. Okay so now we're in Roblox studio go to the top and click import 3d. Click on the file and open it. There you can see we have the rock model. If you want, you can change some of these. I'll just make sure anchored is enabled. Then click on import. There we go. Now what we can do is click it and then we can change the color and stuff like this. And that's it for the rock. Okay, so now we're going to be making some grass. So first off, hold shift and A, then mesh. Then this time we're going to add in a cone. Click the tab. Then this time change vertices to three. Then we can just move it up a bit. I'm just going to scale it so it's a bit smaller. Something like that. Then press tab. Make sure you're in the vertice mode. Then click the top one and move it up. Like that. Then press tab again. Then we're going to press shift and D to duplicate. And then click. And now we can just move it. Like that. And then we can press S to scale. And make it a bit smaller. And just move it down. Then we can also press R to rotate and just move it a bit. There we go. And then maybe we could do another. So click, shift and D, then click. And then we can move it. Maybe rotate again to make it look different. And then move it. And then S to scale. Then click it, click tab. And then we're going to click the top point and move it to make it look a bit different. Like the direction. Then we could do the same for this one. So once you have all your grass, if we click them and then hold control and press J to join them. So now it's one whole thing. And then once again, click file, export, and then either FBX or OBJ and save it. Export. Then in Roblox, click import 3D, select it and open. Once again, you can do all these things if you want, like anchored. Then click import and then we have the grass. Okay, next. We're going to make some terrain so once again shift and a mesh then we're going to add in a cylinder then go to the tab and change vertices to about eight and then i'm going to press one on the keypad to go into this like side view then if we press s on the keyboard to scale then s and z or z to then go up and down to about here then press tab to go into edit mode and then we're going to press ctrl and r to add in a loop cut and if we scroll up then let's add in three and click. Then at the top, go to the line select mode. Then hold alt or alt and click the top one. Hold shift and do the same for these two. Then we can scale to be a bit bigger. Then hold alt, click the middle one. Then S and make it a bit bigger like that. Then we can just move the wheel to go out of that view. Press tab, then hold shift and A. And let's add in another cylinder. Make sure it has eight vertices. And then press S to make it bigger than the actual first one. Move it up. Then S and Z to make it smaller to about here. Then we can drag it down. Press tab. Once again, go in line select mode. And then out. Click the top one. Then if you hold control and B and move it. And then scroll up. Then we can give it this like round top to about here. Then go down. Go to the vertice mode and click the bottom one. Go to this side. Hold shift and click. Then do the same for the other two, like that. Now click and drag down, 
to give it this kind of like grass texture. If you want, you could do another loop cut. So control R, then put it about in the middle, click, and then just scale out a little bit to make it kind of round like that. Okay, so now you should be done. Click file, export. Then this time we have to make sure it's FBX. So we can actually color the top and bottom separate. So we can name it to terrain. Then once again, export. Then go to Roblox Studio, go to import 3D, then terrain, then anchor it and import. And that's it for the terrain. And I just realized it's massive. <laughs> Next up, we're going to make a tree. So hold shift and A, then hover over mesh and click cylinder. Click the tab and change vertices to eight. Then we're going to press one on the keypad to go into the side view. Now we're going to scale and make it a bit smaller. Then scale again. Then press Z to move it up and down to about here. Then press tab, hold control and R to add in a loop cut. Scroll up to make three and click. Then I'm going to scale and then in to make it a bit thinner in the middle. Then at the top, go to the line select mode, hold alt and click the top. Then scale inwards and then click this one and do the same. Just to try and make the tree go thinner at the top. Maybe we can make the bottom a bit bigger like that. Then hold shift and A, add in a cone, open up the tab and change it to 8. Then we can make it bigger and then move it. Then scale and Z to make it smaller. Then shift and D, move it up and scale smaller and then shift and D, click, move it up, then scale to about something like that. Although you can see further top. So hold alt on the line select mode and drag it down like that. If you go to the vertice mode, then click on this point, then this one, and this one. Then move to this side, do the same. Then this side, and then the last one, like that. If you just go ahead and drag them down, something like that. And that shall be the tree done. Once again, click File, Export, FBX, then name it to Tree or something, then Export. And then back in Roblox, click on Import 3D, select it and open. And if you want, you could do these like anchored and then click on import. And that's the tree done. If you'd like to see how to improve your Roblox builds, check out the video on screen now. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.